In the year 2350, humanity has ventured far beyond Earth, establishing colonies and forming alliances with alien species across the galaxy. The most recent diplomatic hub is a massive space station orbiting the planet Viridian, a beautiful world teeming with strange flora and fauna. This station, known as Horizon Outpost, serves as a meeting point for different species, where they exchange knowledge, culture, and sometimes even share in each other's most intimate secrets. Alex Donovan leaned back in his chair, staring at the holographic display in front of him. The image of a stunningly beautiful alien woman flickered before his eyes. Zira, an alien diplomat newly assigned to the outpost. Her delicate features were almost human, save for the ethereal glow of her skin and the slight shimmer in her eyes, which hinted at the advanced technology embedded within her very being. Alex was a xenobiologist by trade, with a focus on the biology and cultures of alien species. His latest assignment was both exciting and nerve-wracking. Serve as the human liaison to Zira, the Aliren representative who had arrived with a mission of her own. What that mission was, no one knew, but rumors had already begun to spread throughout the outpost. Curious creatures, humans, Zira's voice echoed in his mind. Thanks to the neural link they had established earlier that day, her voice was soft, melodic, with a hint of something that Alex couldn't quite place. An echo of centuries-old wisdom, perhaps, or a touch of innocence, despite her advanced age by human standards. Zira had been assigned to Verizon Outpost to observe human culture, but her questions had been unexpected, to say the least. Within hours of meeting Alex, she had begun to ask about human reproduction not from a biological standpoint. She was already well-versed in the science, but from a more personal angle. Tell me, Alex, Zara had asked, leaning in with a smile that made his heart skip a beat. Why do humans reproduce in such a physical way? And what is this concept of love that seems to be so important to your kind? Alex had stumbled over his words, trying to explain something that was so inherently human yet so difficult to put into words. Zara's fascination was genuine, but it was clear that she didn't fully understand the depth of emotion tied to the act of reproduction in humans. It's not just about creating new life, Alex had tried to explain. It's about connection, love, and the bond between two people. It's complicated. Zyra's eyes had sparkled with curiosity, and she had tilted her head slightly, as if trying to process the information. Complicated? I wish to understand this complexity, Alex. Perhaps you could show me. Alex's breath caught in his throat. The way Zira said show me sent a shiver down his spine, though he wasn't sure if it was from excitement or fear. He had read about the Aliren's intense curiosity, but nothing could have prepared him for this. Zira, I, Alex stammered, struggling to find the right words. It's not something you can just show someone, like a scientific experiment. It's deeply personal. It involves emotions, feelings that are hard to explain. Zyra's gaze softened as she leaned closer. But I want to understand, Alex. I want to feel what humans feel, to know what it is that drives you to such intimate acts. Is it not possible to share this with me, as a friend? The word friend seemed almost foreign coming from her, a creature of such advanced intellect and alien origin. But in her voice, Alex could hear a genuine longing perhaps the first sign of an Aliren experiencing something akin to human emotion. Alex swallowed hard. He had been trained to handle delicate diplomatic situations, to navigate the complexities of interspecies relations, but this was different. Zira was asking him to cross a boundary that no human or Aliren had ever crossed before. He stood up abruptly, needing to put some distance between them. Zira, this is complicated. What you're asking for isn't just about understanding human biology or culture. It's about crossing into something deeply personal, something that could change you in ways you can't predict. Zyra remained seated, her eyes never leaving his. But isn't that what life is, Alex? A series of changes, of experiences that shape us into who we are meant to be? My people, we've evolved beyond physical desires, beyond the need for emotional connections as you understand them. But perhaps that evolution has cost us something. Perhaps there's something to be learned from humans. Alex sighed, running a hand through his hair. Maybe, but there's a reason we keep certain things private. Love, intimacy. 
These aren't things we take lightly. And you're not human, Zira. You're different. And that difference, it matters. For a moment, there was silence between them, the only sound being the soft hum of the space station systems. Zira's gaze seemed to pierce through Alex, as if she could see the very thoughts he was trying to suppress. Different, yes, she finally said, standing up and moving towards him. But isn't that what makes this so fascinating? The fact that we are different, and yet, we can still learn from each other? I don't want to merely observe humanity from afar, Alex. I want to understand it, to experience it. And I believe you can help me do that. Alex felt his heart pounding in his chest. There was something undeniably alluring about Zira, but it wasn't just her appearance. It was the way she spoke, the way she looked at him, as if he held the key to something she had been searching for her entire life. But this wasn't just about him. This was about the fragile relationship between two species, the delicate balance that could be shattered by a single misstep. Zira, Alex began slowly, choosing his words with care. I need you to understand that this isn't just a matter of curiosity. If you pursue this, it could have consequences for both of us, consequences we can't fully predict. Zyra nodded, her expression thoughtful. I understand the risks, Alex. But isn't that what makes it worth pursuing? The unknown, the possibility of discovering something new. In my lifetime, I have explored many worlds, learned from countless species, but never have I felt so drawn to an experience as I am to this. I don't want to just observe life, Alex. I want to live it. Alex couldn't help but be moved by her words. There was something deeply honest in her desire, something that resonated with his own longing for connection. Despite his better judgment, he found himself drawn to Zira in ways he had never anticipated. All right, Alex said, his voice barely above a whisper. I'll help you understand, but we have to be careful. We have to take this slowly, and we have to be mindful of the potential consequences. A soft smile spread across Zira's face, one that was both alien and deeply human. Thank you, Alex. I promise I will respect your boundaries and the importance of what we're about to explore. As the two of them stood there, a silent understanding passed between them. This was the beginning of something new, something that could change them both in ways they couldn't yet comprehend. The journey ahead was uncertain, filled with risks and unknowns, but neither of them was willing to turn back now. Over the next few days, Zira and Alex spent more time together, their conversations growing deeper and more personal. Zira was an avid learner, absorbing every detail of human culture that Alex shared with her. They discussed everything from human art and music to the intricacies of relationships and emotions. Zira's fascination with human intimacy only grew stronger, but she respected Alex's request to take things slowly. Instead of pushing him for physical demonstrations, she began to ask more about the emotional connections that underpinned human relationships. What does it mean to love someone, Alex? Zyra asked one evening as they sat in the station's observation deck, looking out at the endless expanse of stars. Alex paused, considering her question. Love is complex. It's a feeling of deep connection with someone, a bond that goes beyond physical attraction or shared interests. It's about trust, vulnerability, and the willingness to put someone else's needs above your own. Zyra nodded, her eyes reflecting the distant starlight. It sounds beautiful, yet also frightening. To be so connected to another being, to allow them to influence you so deeply, it must require a great deal of courage. It does, Alex agreed. But that's what makes it so special. Love can be the most rewarding experience, but it can also be the most painful. It's not something you can fully understand until you've experienced it yourself. Zyra turned to him, her expression serious. And have you, Alex? Have you experienced love? Alex hesitated, memories flashing through his mind. There had been someone, once, long ago. But that relationship had ended in heartbreak, leaving him wary of opening up again. I have, he said quietly. But it didn't last. Love can be fragile, Zira. It requires constant effort. And sometimes, it just isn't enough. Zyra reached out, placing a hand on his. The touch was gentle almost hesitant, as if she was still unsure of how to express the emotions she was beginning to feel. 
Thank you for sharing that with me, Alex, she said softly. I can see that this topic is difficult for you, but I appreciate your honesty. Alex squeezed her hand in return, a silent acknowledgement of the bond that was beginning to form between them. It was a bond that transcended their differences, something deeper than mere curiosity or scientific interest. As the days turned into weeks, their relationship continued to evolve. They shared more intimate moments, not just through words, but through simple gestures. A lingering touch, a shared glance, the comfort of each other's presence. But as they grew closer, Alex couldn't shake the feeling that they were heading towards something inevitable, something that would challenge everything they knew about themselves and their worlds. As the bond between Alex and Zira deepened, so did their explorations of each other's cultures. The more time they spent together, the more Alex realized how vastly different their worlds truly were, and yet, how strangely similar they could be. Zira's interest in humanity was not limited to reproduction alone. She wanted to understand everything about humans, their art, their history, their emotions. But more than anything, she was fascinated by the way humans expressed love and affection, concepts that were entirely foreign to her people. One day, as they walked through the art gallery on Horizon Outpost, Zira stopped in front of a painting depicting a tender embrace between two lovers. What does this represent? She asked, her head tilted slightly as she studied the painting. Alex smiled, appreciating the innocence of her question. It's a depiction of love, he explained. The artist wanted to capture a moment of intimacy between two people who cared deeply for each other. Zira's gaze lingered on the painting. In my culture, we don't express emotions through physical contact, she said thoughtfully. We share thoughts, ideas, and knowledge, but not feelings. This connection you speak of, it's something we've evolved beyond. But I can see how powerful it is for your kind. Alex nodded. Physical contact is a big part of how we communicate our emotions. A hug, a kiss, they can convey feelings that words sometimes can't. It's a way of showing someone that they matter to you. Zyra turned to him, her expression contemplative. And this feeling, love, it's something that binds you to another person. Yes, Alex replied. Love is one of the strongest bonds we can have. It's what drives us to do incredible things, sometimes even at great personal cost. Zira's eyes shimmered with curiosity. I wonder, can an Elyran experience love as humans do? Is it possible for me to feel what you feel? The question caught Alex off guard. He had never considered the possibility before. Could an alien truly experience human emotions in the same way? And if so, what would that mean for their relationship? I don't know, Alex admitted. But if you're open to it, I think it's something we could explore together. Their conversations grew more intense as they delved deeper into each other's cultures. Zira was eager to learn about human traditions, particularly those related to relationships and family. Alex, in turn, was fascinated by the Aliran's method of reproduction, a process that involved the transfer of consciousness into new bodies, bypassing the need for physical contact altogether. For Alirans, reproduction was a clinical, almost mechanical process, devoid of the emotional connections that humans held so dear. The Alirans reproduced by sharing parts of their consciousness. Zyra explained one evening as they sat in the quiet comfort of Alex's quarters. It's a process we've perfected over millennia. The new being is a blend of the consciousnesses that contributed to its creation, but without the emotional baggage that humans seem to carry. Alex listened intrigued. So you don't experience any emotional connection to your offspring? Zira shook her head. Not in the way you do. For us, reproduction is a continuation of knowledge and existence. The new being is a part of our collective, but it's not something we nurture or love as you would a child. Alex found the concept both fascinating and unsettling. But doesn't that make life cold? Without love, without that bond, what drives you? Knowledge Zyre replied simply, the pursuit of understanding the universe, of evolving beyond our current limitations. Love, as you describe it, is seen as a distraction, something that could hinder our progress. But isn't there more to life than just progress? Alex asked, feeling a deep sense of sadness at the thought. Isn't there value in the connections we make, in the emotions that drive us? Zyra looked at him with a mixture of curiosity and something else something that resembled longing. 
Perhaps, she said quietly, perhaps that's what draws me to your kind. The emotions you experience, the connections you form, they're unlike anything I've ever known. And I want to understand them, to experience them. As they spent more time together, Zira began to mimic human behaviors in her quest to understand them better. She observed couples on the station, noting the way they touched, the way they spoke to each other, the subtle nuances of their interactions. One day, as they were walking through the station's arboretum, a lush green space filled with plants from various worlds, Zyra reached out and took Alexa's hand in hers. The gesture was tentative, as if she was testing the waters. Alex looked at her in surprise, but he didn't pull away. Instead, he squeezed her hand gently, a silent acknowledgement of the bond that was forming between them. What does this mean? Zyra asked, her voice soft. It's a way of showing someone that you care about them, Alex explained. It's a simple gesture, but it can convey a lot of emotion. Zyra looked down at their joined hands, her expression thoughtful. I think I understand. It's a way of creating a connection, of sharing something personal. Exactly, Alex said with a smile. It's a way of saying, I'm here for you. Zyra's grip tightened slightly. I like this, she admitted. It feels comforting like I'm not alone. You're not, Alex said softly. I'm here with you. As they walked through the arboretum, hand in hand, Alex couldn't help but wonder where this path would lead them. Zira was changing. He could see it in the way she interacted with him, in the way she spoke, in the way she expressed emotions that had once been foreign to her. But with that change came a growing sense of uncertainty. Zira was not human, and their relationship was anything but ordinary. What would happen if she continued to evolve in this way? And what would be the consequences for both of them if they pursued this connection further? As Alex and Zira's relationship grew closer, it didn't go unnoticed by others on the station. Some of the other human diplomats began to express concern, questioning whether Alex was getting too close to the Ali Ren representative. One day, Alex was called into a meeting with his superior, Commander Harper. The commander was a stern, no-nonsense woman who had served on the station for over a decade. She had seen her fair share of interspecies relations, and she wasn't one to take risks lightly. Alex, we need to talk, Commander Harper said, her tone leaving no room for argument. I've been hearing things about your interactions with Zira. Alex shifted uncomfortably in his seat. What about them? Some of the other diplomats are concerned. Harper continued. They're saying that you're getting too close to her, that you might be compromising your position as a human representative. I'm just doing my job, Alex replied, trying to keep his voice steady. Zira is here to learn about humans, and I'm here to help her. That's all. Harper raised an eyebrow. Is that really all, Alex? Because from where I'm sitting, it looks like you're getting involved in something much more personal. And that's dangerous for you, for her, and for the station. Alex clenched his fists, struggling to keep his emotions in check. I'm not compromising anything, Commander. Zyra and I, we've developed a bond. Yes, but it's based on mutual respect and understanding. I'm not going to let it interfere with my duties. Harper leaned forward, her gaze intense. You need to be careful, Alex. The Alirans are not like us. We don't fully understand their motives and we can't afford to let personal feelings cloud our judgment. You have a responsibility to this station and to humanity. Alex nodded, though he felt a pang of guilt in his chest. I understand, Commander. I'll be careful. See that you do, Harper said, her tone softening slightly. This station is a delicate ecosystem, Alex. One wrong move, and it could all come crashing down. Don't be the one to make that move. As Alex left the meeting, he couldn't shake the feeling of unease that had settled over him. Commander Harper was right. He had a responsibility to his people, and he couldn't let his feelings for Zira get in the way of that. But the more time he spent with her, the harder it became to separate his duty from his emotions. Zira was changing, evolving in ways that no one could have predicted, and he was becoming more and more entangled in that process. What would happen if he continued down this path? And what would it mean for both of them if they allowed their relationship to progress further? That evening, after a long day of diplomatic meetings and scientific discussions, 
Alex found himself once again in the quiet comfort of his quarters. Zira had asked to meet with him privately, and he had agreed, though he couldn't help but feel a growing sense of anxiety. When Zira arrived, she seemed different, more human somehow. There was a warmth in her eyes that hadn't been there before, a softness in her voice that made Alex's heart ache with both hope and fear. Alex, Zara began, her tone serious yet tender. I've been thinking a lot about what we've discussed, about love and connection. I've been trying to understand these concepts, to see if it's something I could truly experience. Alex nodded, waiting for her to continue. I think, I think I've started to feel something. Zyra admitted, her voice trembling slightly. Something new, something I've never felt before. It's not just curiosity anymore, Alex. It's something deeper, something that feels human. Alex's breath caught in his throat. What are you saying, Zira? I'm saying that I've developed feelings for you, Zyra confessed, her eyes locking onto his. Real feelings, like the ones you describe. Love, affection, the desire to be close to you in ways that go beyond mere friendship or intellectual connection. And I want to experience more of that. I want to know what it's like to love someone as humans do. Alex felt a surge of emotion. Joy, fear, excitement, and dread all rolled into one. This was what he had feared. And yet, it was also what he had secretly longed for. Zira, I, he began. But she cut him off with a gentle touch on his arm. I know this is complicated, Alex, Zira said softly. I know that there are risks, that our relationship could have consequences for both of us, but I'm willing to take those risks if it means understanding what it truly means to be human. And I believe that with your help, I can do that. Alex looked into Zira's eyes, seeing the vulnerability and sincerity there. She was offering him something incredible, an opportunity to share a deep and meaningful connection with someone who was not only from another species, but who was also on a journey of self-discovery unlike anything he had ever witnessed. But the risks were real, and the consequences could be dire. Could he really allow himself to fall in love with her, knowing what it could mean for both of them? In that moment, Alex made a decision. He would help Zira explore these new emotions, but he would do so carefully, with full awareness of the potential dangers. This was uncharted territory for both of them, and they would have to navigate it together. I'm here for you, Zira, Alex said, his voice steady despite the turmoil inside him. We'll take this one step at a time, and we'll face whatever comes together. Zira's eyes filled with a mix of relief and happiness, and she smiled, a genuine human smile that made Alex's heart skip a beat. Thank you, Alex, she whispered. I've never felt so alive. As they sat together, hands intertwined, Alex knew that their journey was only just beginning. The path ahead was uncertain, filled with challenges and unknowns, but it was a path they were now committed to walking together. And whatever the future held, they would face it side by side. The deepening relationship between Alex and Zira brought not only personal joy, but also growing concern and suspicion from others on Horizon Outpost. As they continued to explore their emotions, they found themselves under increasing scrutiny, and the consequences of their bond began to ripple through the station's delicate social fabric. The tension on Horizon Outpost was palpable. What had started as innocent curiosity from Zira was now viewed with suspicion by both human and alien diplomats. Rumors circulated, and whispers filled the corridors whenever Alex and Zira were seen together. Some of the more conservative members of the diplomatic corps began to express their unease openly. They argued that Zira's transformation, her growing human-like emotions, was unnatural and potentially dangerous. They feared that her newfound attachment to Alex might be part of a larger, more sinister plan by the Illyrans, an attempt to learn human weaknesses or to manipulate a key human diplomat. These suspicions weren't limited to humans alone. On the Alyran side, there were those who viewed Zira's behavior as a betrayal of their values. Alyrans prided themselves on their logical, emotionless approach to life, and Zira's shift towards human-like feelings was seen as a threat to their way of being. Some even speculated that Zira had been compromised, infected by human emotions in a way that could destabilize her entire species. The situation came to a head during a high-level meeting of diplomats from various species.
As the representatives gathered around the large, circular table in the main conference room, the atmosphere was thick with unease. Representative Zira, an Adlerian elder named Korath, began, his tone cold and formal. There have been concerns raised about your conduct on this station, specifically your growing attachment to the human, Alex Donovan. Zira remained calm, though Alex could sense the tension beneath her composed exterior. I assure you, Elder Korath, my actions are motivated by a genuine desire to understand humanity. My relationship with Alex is based on mutual respect and a shared pursuit of knowledge. Korath's eyes narrowed. Is that so? Because it appears to many of us that your relationship has crossed the line from professional to personal, and that is not something we can ignore. A murmur of agreement spread through the room. Alex felt a pang of guilt. He had never intended for things to escalate to this level. But before he could speak, another voice chimed in, this time from the human side. Zira's behavior is indeed concerning, said Ambassador Wilson, one of the senior human diplomats on the station. We have always valued our relationship with the Alirans, but we must also ensure that our own people are not put at risk. If Zira's intentions are as innocent as she claims, why the secrecy? Why the need for private meetings and personal connections? Alex's jaw tightened. This was quickly turning into an inquisition, one that could have severe consequences for both him and Zira. He opened his mouth to defend her, but Zira spoke first. There is no secrecy, Ambassador Wilson, Zara said firmly. My interactions with Alex have been open and honest. I have shared my experiences and my emotions with him because I believe that is the only way to truly understand your species. If that is seen as a threat, then perhaps the real issue lies with your perception of what it means to connect with another being. The room fell silent at her words. Zyra's calm and measured response seemed to take the wind out of the accusations, but the underlying tension remained. Korath spoke again, his voice softer this time but still laced with disapproval. Zira, your intentions may be noble, but you must understand that your actions have consequences. Your growing attachment to this human could lead to unforeseen complications, not just for you, but for all of us. We cannot afford to let personal feelings cloud our judgment. Zetara met Korath's gaze, her expression resolute. I understand your concerns, Elder Korath, but I believe that what Alex and I are exploring goes beyond mere personal feelings. It is an opportunity to bridge the gap between our species, to learn from one another in ways that could benefit us all. Korath remained silent for a moment, considering her words. Then, with a slight nod, he turned to the rest of the assembly. We will continue to monitor this situation closely. For now, I urge caution. Let us not forget the importance of our mission here on Horizon Outpost. With that, the meeting was adjourned, but the unease lingered. As the diplomats filed out of the room, Alex and Zira exchanged a glance, one filled with a mix of relief, worry, and a shared understanding that the road ahead would be fraught with challenges. After the meeting, Alex was approached by Commander Harper in the hallway. Her expression was unreadable, but there was a steely determination in her eyes. Alex, I need to speak with you. Privately, she said, leading him to her office without waiting for a response. Once inside, she closed the door and turned to face him. I want to be clear, Alex. I don't doubt your integrity, but the situation with Zira is spiraling out of control. You're too close to this, and I need you to take a step back and look at it from a wider perspective. Alex frowned. What do you mean? I'm saying that we need to know Zira's true intentions, Harper replied. And I'm asking you to find out. Alex felt a cold knot form in his stomach. You want me to spy on her? I want you to do your job, Alex, Harper said firmly. Zira's behavior is unprecedented. If she's genuinely developing human emotions that could have far-reaching implications for both our species. But if there's something else going on, if the Alirans have a hidden agenda, we need to know before it's too late. Alex hesitated, torn between his duty and his feelings for Zira. Commander, I don't think Zira is hiding anything. She's genuinely curious about humans, and I believe her feelings are real. Harper's expression softened slightly, but her tone remained resolute. I hope you're right, Alex, but we can't afford to take any chances. 
you're the only one she trusts, and that puts you in a unique position. I need you to get close to her, to learn what she's really after. And if you find anything unusual, you report it to me immediately. Do you understand? Alex nodded, though his heart was heavy. I understand. Good, Harper said, placing a hand on his shoulder. I'm counting on you, Alex. Don't let your feelings cloud your judgment. Remember you're doing this for the greater good. As Alex left Harper's office, he felt a sense of dread settle over him. How could he reconcile his duty with his growing affection for Zira? The thought of betraying her trust was almost unbearable, but he knew he had no choice. If there was any chance that Zira's transformation posed a threat, he had to uncover it. But deep down, he hoped that his suspicions were wrong, that Zira's feelings were as genuine as his own. In the days that followed, Alex found himself increasingly torn between his duty and his emotions. He continued to spend time with Zira, but now there was a shadow of doubt hanging over every interaction, a nagging fear that he might discover something that would force him to betray her. Zira, for her part, seemed blissfully unaware of the growing tension. She continued to explore her newfound emotions with a sense of wonder and excitement, often sharing her thoughts and feelings with Alex in a way that felt both intimate and disarming. One evening, as they sat together in a quiet corner of the station's observatory, Zara leaned against Alex, her head resting on his shoulder. The stars outside the window cast a soft glow over them, creating a moment of tranquility in the midst of the chaos. I've been thinking a lot about our conversations, Zara said softly, about love and what it means to be connected to someone. I think I begin to understand it better now. Alex remained silent, unsure of how to respond. Zira continued, her voice filled with a mix of curiosity and hope. I want to know more, Alex. I want to experience everything that comes with being human. The joy, the pain, the love, all of it. I want to feel alive. Alex felt his heart ache at her words. She was so sincere, so open in her desire to learn and grow. And yet, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong, that he was being drawn into something far more complex and dangerous than he had anticipated. Zura, Alex began, choosing his words carefully. I want you to be happy. I want you to experience everything you're curious about. But you have to understand that there are risks involved. The emotions you're exploring. They can be powerful, even overwhelming. And sometimes, they can lead to consequences you didn't expect. Zyra looked up at him, her expression earnest. I know, Alex, but I'm willing to take those risks if it means understanding what it means to be human. I trust you to guide me through this. Alex swallowed hard, feeling the weight of her trust pressing down on him. I'll do my best, he said quietly. But we have to be careful. We have to be honest with each other. Zira nodded, her eyes filled with warmth. I promise, Alex. I'll always be honest with you. As she spoke, Alex couldn't help but feel a pang of guilt. He had promised to protect her, to help her navigate the complexities of human emotions. But now he was being asked to betray that trust, to spy on her for the sake of a greater cause. The rift between his duty and his feelings for Zira was growing wider by the day, and Alex knew that sooner or later he would have to make a choice, a choice that could change everything. As the weeks passed, Zira's transformation became more pronounced. She began to display emotions that were unmistakably human. Joy, sadness, anger, even jealousy. Her interactions with Alex became more intense, more passionate, and Alex found himself falling deeper in love with her, despite the warnings from Commander Harper and the growing suspicions of those around them. But with Zira's transformation came unforeseen complications. She began to experience physical changes as well. Her skin, once smooth and flawless, started to develop subtle imperfections resembling the texture of human skin. Her eyes, once cold and calculating, now held a warmth that Alex found both comforting and unsettling. One night, as they sat together in Alex's quarters, Zira suddenly gasped, clutching her chest. Her expression twisted in pain, and Alex rushed to her side, his heart pounding in fear. Zira, what's wrong? He asked, his voice filled with panic. I, I don't know. Zira gasped, 
her breathing labored. Something's happening, something I can't control. Alex held her close, feeling her body tremble against his. We need to get you to the med bay, he said urgently. We need to find out what's happening to you. But Zira shook her head, her grip on him tightening. No, no doctors. I can't let them see me like this. Zira, you're in pain. Alex protested. We need to find out what's causing this. But Zira's expression was one of fear. Fear of what the doctors might discover. Fear of what she was becoming. Please, Alex, don't let them take me. I'm scared. Alex felt a surge of protectiveness wash over him. He couldn't let Zira suffer like this, but he also couldn't ignore the growing fear in her eyes. Whatever was happening to her, it was beyond anything he had ever encountered. As Zira's breathing began to calm, she looked up at Alex, her eyes filled with a mixture of pain and sadness. I think, I think I'm becoming human, she whispered. The words sent a shockwave through Alex. He had suspected that Zira's transformation was more than just emotional, but hearing her say it out loud made the reality of the situation hit him like a ton of bricks. Becoming human? Alex echoed, his voice barely above a whisper. How, how is that possible? I don't know, Zyra admitted, tears forming in her eyes. But I can feel it, Alex. My body, my mind, they're changing in ways I don't understand. And I'm scared. I'm scared of what I'm becoming. Alex pulled her into his arms, holding her close as she trembled against him. He didn't have any answers, but he knew one thing for certain. He couldn't let Zira face this alone. We'll figure this out together. Alex promised, his voice filled with determination. No matter what happens, I'll be here for you. Zyra clung to him, her tears soaking into his shirt. Thank you, Alex. I don't know what I would do without you. As they sat together, the weight of the situation pressing down on them, Alex couldn't help but wonder what the future held. Zira was changing, becoming something new, something that defied everything they knew about Elirans and humans. And with that change came a question that haunted Alex's every waking moment. What would happen when Zira's transformation was complete? Would she still be the same person he had grown to love? Or would she become something else entirely? With the revelation of Zira's transformation and the increasingly tense atmosphere on Horizon Outpost, Alex and Zira found themselves navigating a path fraught with moral dilemmas, deepening emotions, and the ever-present threat of discovery. As they struggled to understand what was happening to Zira, they also had to confront the reality of their growing connection and the implications it held for their future. The next few days were a blur of fear, confusion, and desperate attempts to find answers. Alex spent every moment he could with Zira, trying to understand the changes she was undergoing. They combed through medical records, scanned her body with every piece of technology available, and even consulted with the station's AI. But none of it provided any concrete explanations. Zira's transformation continued, subtle yet undeniable. Her skin became more textured, her eyes more expressive, and her emotional responses more intense. She began to feel things that she had never felt before. Hunger, fatigue, and even pain. Each new sensation left her both fascinated and frightened, unsure of what she was becoming. One evening, as they sat together in Alex's quarters, Zira spoke in a voice tinged with worry. Alex, I don't know how much longer I can keep this hidden. My body. It's changing faster now. People are going to notice. Alex took her hand, his expression serious. We'll figure this out, Zyra. We just need more time. But you're right. If the others find out what's happening, they might see it as a threat. We have to be careful. Zyra nodded, but her eyes were filled with uncertainty. What if I can't stop it? What if I become fully human? What will that mean for us? For my people? Alex had no answers, only the deepening dread of what lay ahead. The more he thought about it, the more he realized that their situation was far more complex than he had initially believed. If Zira's transformation was indeed irreversible, it could lead to a diplomatic crisis of unprecedented proportions. But beyond the political implications, there was a more personal dilemma that weighed heavily on Alex's mind. What did Zira's transformation mean for their relationship? Could he truly love her as she was now?
knowing that she was changing in ways neither of them could fully control. And perhaps the most troubling question of all, was he willing to risk everything, his career, his duty, even his life, for a love that might be doomed from the start? As the days passed, the changes in Zira became impossible to ignore. She began to withdraw from public life on the station, avoiding meetings and interactions as much as possible. When she did appear, she wore a cloak to conceal her features. But even then, whispers began to spread. Have you seen her lately? One of the human diplomats asked Alex during a routine briefing. She looks different, like something's wrong. Alex forced a casual smile, trying to deflect the concern. Zira's been under a lot of stress lately. It's nothing to worry about. But the whispers persisted, and soon they'd reached Commander Harper's ears. She called Alex into her office one evening, her expression unreadable. Alex, we need to talk, she said, motioning for him to sit down. Alex complied, trying to keep his nerves in check. What's this about, Commander? It's about Zira, Harper replied, leaning forward. There have been reports, concerns from both human and Eliran representatives, that she's not well. Some are saying she's changing. Alex's heart skipped a beat, but he kept his expression neutral. She's been under a lot of pressure lately. I think it's just taking a toll on her. Harper's eyes narrowed. You're close to her, Alex. Closer than anyone else on this station. If there's something going on, I need to know. We can't afford to ignore this. Alex hesitated, torn between his loyalty to Zara and his duty to the station. He knew that if he told Harper the truth, it could lead to Zira being isolated, studied, or worse. But if he lied, he would be betraying the trust that Harper had placed in him. I, I don't think it's anything serious. Alex said finally, choosing his words carefully. She's been going through some changes. Yes, but it's nothing that we can't handle. Harper studied him for a long moment, her gaze piercing. I hope you're right, Alex. But if you're keeping something from me, if there's more to this than you're letting on, you need to come clean now, for all our sakes. Alex swallowed hard, forcing himself to meet her gaze. There's nothing else, Commander, I promise. Harper nodded slowly, though her expression remained skeptical. Very well, but keep an eye on her, Alex. If anything changes, anything at all, I need to know immediately. As Alex left the office, he felt the weight of his decision pressing down on him. He had chosen to protect Zira, but at what cost? The repercussions of his actions were starting to mount, and he knew that it was only a matter of time before everything came crashing down. That night, as Alex and Zira sat together in the dim light of his quarters, Zira's expression was one of deep contemplation. I've been thinking about what's happening to me, Zara said quietly about what it means and what the consequences might be. Alex looked at her, his heart heavy. We'll figure it out, Zira. We just need more time. Zira shook her head, a sad smile tugging at her lips. I don't think time is on our side, Alex. The changes, they're accelerating. And I can feel something else, something I haven't told you. Alex frowned, concern etching his features. What do you mean? Zyra hesitated, as if weighing her words carefully. I've been experiencing memories, Alex. Memories that aren't mine. They're fragmented, like pieces of a puzzle, but they feel so real. It's like I'm remembering a life I never lived. Alex's blood ran cold. Memories? What kind of memories? Human memories, Zyra whispered, her voice trembling. I see faces, places, emotions. It's like I'm becoming someone else, someone who lived a human life before. Alex's mind raced, trying to make sense of what she was saying. But how is that possible? You've never been human. These memories, they don't belong to you. I know, Zira said, tears welling up in her eyes. But they feel so real, Alex. I can't explain it. But I think, I think they're part of the transformation. Maybe it's a side effect, or maybe it's something more. But whatever it is, it's changing who I am. Alex pulled her into his arms, holding her close as she cried. The implications of what she was saying were staggering. If Zira was somehow inheriting memories from a human, what did that mean for her identity? 
Was she still the same person he had come to know and love, or was she becoming someone else entirely? And more importantly, what would happen when the transformation was complete? Would she lose herself completely, consumed by these foreign memories? Or would she emerge as a new being, neither fully Eliran nor fully human, but something in between? As Alex held Zira, he realized that their situation was far more dire than he had imagined. The transformation was not just physical or emotional, it was altering the very core of who Zira was. And if they didn't find a way to stop it, she might be lost forever. But how could they stop something they didn't understand? And what would it mean for their future if Zira became someone else entirely? The questions haunted Alex as he drifted off to sleep that night, holding Zira close as if she might slip away from him at any moment. The stakes had never been higher, and the path ahead had never been more uncertain. But one thing was clear, whatever happened, Alex would not abandon Zira. He would stand by her side, no matter what, and face the unknown together. As Zira's transformation accelerated and the consequences of their actions loomed ever closer, Alex and Zira found themselves facing a desperate situation. The stakes had never been higher, and the decisions they made in the coming days would determine not only their future, but also the fate of their respective species. The pressure on Horizon Outpost was reaching a breaking point. Zira's transformation had become too obvious to hide any longer and both human and Eliran authorities were growing increasingly suspicious. Rumors of her condition had spread throughout the station, and the once strong alliance between the two species was beginning to fray at the edges. One evening, as Alex and Zira sat together in the darkened confines of his quarters, Zira spoke in a voice filled with urgency. Alex, we can't stay here any longer. They're going to find out, and when they do, I don't know what they'll do to me. Alex's heart raced. He knew she was right. The station was no longer safe for her, and if the authorities discovered the full extent of her transformation, they would undoubtedly take drastic measures. Measures that could endanger her life. What do you suggest we do? Alex asked, his mind already racing with possibilities. Zyra looked at him, her eyes filled with both determination and fear. We need to leave. There's a planet nearby, Viridian. It's mostly uninhabited, but it has a few ancient ruins, places where we could hide. If we can reach it, we might have a chance to figure out what's happening to me without interference. Alex considered her words. Viridian was a beautiful but dangerous planet, its surface covered in dense jungles and strange, ancient structures. It was a place filled with mystery, and few dared to venture there. But it also offered the isolation they needed to escape the watchful eyes of Horizon Outpost. It's risky, Alex said, his voice steady despite the fear gnawing at him. But it might be our only option. If we stay here, they'll find you. And I can't let that happen. Zyra nodded, her expression resolute. Then we need to leave now, before they realize what's happening. They moved quickly, gathering the essentials they would need for their journey. Alex managed to secure a small, unregistered shuttle from one of the station's lesser-used hangars, a vehicle they could use to slip away unnoticed. As they prepared to leave, Alex felt a pang of guilt at the thought of abandoning his duties, of betraying the trust that Commander Harper and others had placed in him. But he knew that staying would only put Zira in greater danger, and he couldn't let that happen. With a final glance around his quarters, Alex took Zura's hand, and together they made their way to the shuttle. The station was quiet at this late hour, the corridors dimly lit and empty of the usual bustle of activity. It felt almost eerie, as if the station itself was holding its breath, waiting for what would happen next. When they reached the hangar, Alex quickly ran through the pre-flight checks while Zira kept watch. Every moment felt like an eternity, and Alex's heart pounded in his chest as he worked to get the shuttle ready for departure. Finally, everything was in place. Alex climbed into the pilot's seat, motioning for Zira to join him. As she settled into the seat beside him, he took a deep breath and activated the shuttle's engines. The small craft hummed to life, and Alex guided it smoothly out of the hangar and into the cold void of space. As they left the station behind, Alex felt a mix of fear and exhilaration. They were on their own now, heading into the unknown, 
with nothing but each other to rely on. But despite the danger, he couldn't help but feel a sense of hope. For the first time in weeks, they were taking control of their fate, carving out their own path instead of being swept along by forces beyond their control. And whatever happened next, they would face it together. The journey to Viridian was tense but uneventful. As the shuttle entered the planet's atmosphere, Halex felt a jolt of anxiety. The dense jungle canopy below stretched out for miles, and the ancient ruins Zyra had mentioned were barely visible beneath the thick foliage. Where should we land? Alex asked, his voice tight with concentration as he maneuvered the shuttle through the turbulent atmosphere. There's a clearing near one of the larger ruins, Zyra replied, pointing to a location on the shuttle's navigation screen. It should be large enough for us to set down. The ruins are said to hold ancient knowledge, maybe even something that could help us understand what's happening to me. Alex nodded, guiding the shuttle toward the clearing. As they descended, the thick jungle gave way to a large, open space, dominated by the crumbling remains of what appeared to be an ancient temple. Vines and moss clung to the stone walls, and the structure seemed to pulse with a strange, otherworldly energy. The shuttle touched down with a soft thud, and Alex quickly powered down the engines. The silence that followed was almost deafening, broken only by the distant calls of unknown creatures in the jungle. As they stepped out of the shuttle, Alex felt a sense of awe at the sight before him. The ruins were immense, their towering spires reaching up towards the sky, as if trying to bridge the gap between the heavens and the earth. This place, it feels ancient, Alex said, his voice hushed. Like it's been here for thousands of years, just waiting for someone to discover its secrets. Zyra nodded, her eyes wide with wonder. The Elyrans have records of this planet but no one has ever fully explored it. There are legends, stories of an ancient civilization that once thrived here, long before our time. They say the ruins hold great power, knowledge that could change the fate of anyone who uncovers it. Alex felt the shiver run down his spine. And you think it could help us understand your transformation? I don't know, Zara admitted, but I feel drawn to this place, like it's calling to me. Maybe it's just desperation, or maybe there's something here that I'd meant to find. With a shared look of determination, Alex and Zira made their way towards the temple. The air was thick with humidity, and the scent of earth and vegetation filled their senses as they approached the massive stone entrance. Inside, the temple was even more awe-inspiring. The walls were covered in intricate carvings, depicting scenes of what appeared to be a great civilization. Beings that looked both human and Eliran engaged in activities that ranged from scientific study to acts of worship. This, this looks like a history of their people, Alex said, tracing his fingers over the carvings. But these beings, they look like a mix of humans and Elirans. Zira studied the carvings closely, her expression one of deep concentration. Could it be? Could we have shared a common ancestor? A species that split off, one becoming human and the other Ellie ran. Alex felt a surge of excitement at the possibility. It would explain a lot. The similarities in our DNA. The way you're transforming. If this ancient civilization was the origin of both our species, then maybe your transformation is a reversion, a return to that original form. But why now? Zara asked, her voice tinged with desperation. Why would this happen to me, here in this time? There must be a reason. As they delved deeper into the temple, they came across a large chamber filled with ancient technology, strange devices that hummed with energy, their purpose lost to time. In the center of the room stood a large, glowing orb, pulsing with a soft blue light. What is this? Alex asked, his voice filled with awe. Zira approached the orb cautiously, her hand reaching out to touch it. As her fingers brushed the surface, the orb flared to life, and a holographic projection appeared before them, an image of a being that looked both human and Eliran, its features ethereal and otherworldly. The hologram spoke in a language that neither Alex nor Zira recognized, but the tone was solemn, almost reverent. As it spoke, images flashed around them, scenes of a great cataclysm, a world torn apart by war and chaos. Zira's eyes widened as the images continued, showing the beings from the carvings splitting into two groups, 
one that fled to the stars, becoming the Alirans, and another that stayed behind, eventually evolving into humans. This is our history, Zara whispered, her voice filled with wonder and dread. This is where we came from. The hologram continued, showing the two groups losing contact with each other, their shared history fading into myth. But then, the image shifted, showing a figure that looked strikingly like Zira, standing in the ruins of the ancient civilization, holding a small, glowing object. It's me, Zira gasped, stepping closer to the hologram. But how? Alex watched in stunned silence as the hologram showed Zira, an image of her, or perhaps someone like her, activating a device that sent out a pulse of energy, triggering a transformation similar to the one Zira was experiencing. This is what started it, Alex realized. Somehow you've triggered the same process. Maybe it's something in your DNA, something that's been dormant until now. Zira looked at him, her eyes filled with fear. But what does it mean? Am I supposed to become this? This hybrid? Is that my fate? I don't know, Alex said, his voice trembling. But whatever it is, we're in this together. We'll figure it out, Zira, I promise. As they stood in the ancient chamber, surrounded by the echoes of a forgotten past, Alex couldn't help but feel a deep sense of foreboding. The answers they had found only led to more questions, and the path ahead was more uncertain than ever. But one thing was clear. Zira's transformation was part of something much larger, something that connected both their species in ways they had never imagined. And whatever the future held, it was now in their hands to shape. As Alex and Zira explored the ancient temple, they uncovered more about the civilization that had once thrived on Viridian. The technology they found suggested that this ancient race had achieved a level of advancement far beyond anything either humans or Alarens had reached. But with that advancement came great responsibility, and it became clear that the cataclysm they had witnessed in the hologram was the result of a catastrophic failure, an attempt to harness energy that had spiraled out of control. Zira was a direct result of her contact with this ancient technology, technology that had been designed to merge the strengths of both species into a single superior being. But the process was incomplete, and the consequences of a failed transformation were dire. This technology, it wasn't meant to be used by just anyone. Alex said as he studied the carvings and diagrams they had found. The transformation process is dangerous. If it's not done correctly, it could lead to catastrophic results. Zyra's expression was grim. And that's what's happening to me. I've triggered something that was never meant to be activated. If we don't stop it, I could be torn apart or worse. Alex felt a cold sweat break out on his forehead. But how'd we stop it? We don't even fully understand how it works. There must be a way, Zara said, her voice trembling with determination. This temple, these ruins, they were left behind for a reason. Maybe there's something here that can reverse the process, or at least stabilize it. They continued to search, growing more desperate as time passed. Zara's condition was worsening. Her physical changes were becoming more pronounced, and her mental state was deteriorating as the foreign memories continued to flood her mind. Finally, in a secluded chamber deep within the temple, they found what they were looking for, a control panel linked to the ancient technology that had initiated Zira's transformation. The panel was covered in strange symbols, but with the help of the holographic projections, they were able to decipher its function. This must be it. Alex said, his voice filled with both hope and fear. This panel controls the transformation process. If we can shut it down, we might be able to save you. Zyra stepped forward, her hands trembling as she reached for the controls. I have to do this, Alex. I'm the one who started this. I'm the only one who can stop it. But as she began to input the sequence, the chamber suddenly trembled, and a deep, ominous rumble echoed through the temple. What's happening? Alex shouted over the noise. Zira's eyes widened in terror. The system, it's too unstable. If I shut it down now, it could trigger a catastrophic reaction. Alex's mind raced. There has to be another way. What if we complete the process instead? Stabilize it instead of shutting it down? Zara hesitated, the fear in her eyes replaced by a glimmer of hope. It might work, but it's a huge risk. 
If we complete the transformation, I could lose myself completely. I won't let that happen, Alex said, taking her hands in his. We'll do this together, Zira. Whatever happens, I'll be right here with you. With a deep breath, Zyra nodded, and together, they activated the sequence to stabilize the transformation. The chamber filled with a blinding light, and the ancient machinery hummed with energy as the process accelerated. Zira cried out in pain as the transformation reached its peak, her body convulsing as the ancient technology worked to merge her Aliran and human DNA into something new. Alex held her tightly, refusing to let go, even as the energy around them grew more intense. For a moment, it seemed as though everything would be lost. The light, the noise, the overwhelming power of the transformation threatening to tear them apart. But then, just as suddenly as it began, the light faded and the chamber fell silent. Alex opened his eyes, blinking against the afterglow of the energy. He looked down at Zira, who lay limp in his arms, her breathing shallow but steady. Zira, he whispered, his voice filled with fear and hope. Are you, are you okay? Zira slowly opened her eyes, her gaze unfocused at first, but gradually sharpening. When she finally looked at Alex, there was a softness in her expression that he hadn't seen before, a warmth that was both familiar and new. I, I think I'm okay, she said, her voice trembling. But I feel different. Alex helped her sit up, his heart pounding in his chest. Different how? Zyra touched her face, then her arms, as if getting used to her own body. I feel whole, like the two parts of me, the Aliran and the human. They've merged. I'm still me, but I'm also something more. Alex's breath caught in his throat, so the transformation, it worked. Syra nodded slowly, a tentative smile forming on her lips. I think it did. I'm not just Aliran or human anymore. I'm both. I can feel it in my mind, in my body. It's like I've been reborn. Alex pulled her into a tight embrace, relief flooding through him. You did it. Zira, we did it. As they held each other, the realization of what they had accomplished began to sink in. Zira was no longer just an Aliran diplomat or a curious alien. She was something new, something that represented the union of two species, the potential for a future where both could coexist in harmony. But as they emerged from the temple, hand in hand, they knew that their journey was far from over. The road ahead would be difficult, filled with challenges and uncertainties. They would have to return to Horizon Outpost, face the authorities, and explain what had happened. But they would do it together, united in their love and determination to build a future where their bond, and the bond between their species, could thrive. With Zira's transformation complete, and the truth about the ancient technology, on Viridian revealed, Alex and Zira faced the daunting task of returning to Horizon Outpost. They would have to explain everything that had happened, confront the suspicions and fears of both humans and Aelirans, and find a way to navigate the uncertain future that lay ahead. But now, with a new understanding of who they were and what they had become, they were ready to face whatever challenges awaited them. The journey back to Horizon Outpost was filled with a tense silence. Both Alex and Zira were lost in their thoughts, processing the events that had just transpired. The shuttle hummed quietly as it cut through the void of space, heading back towards the station they had fled not long ago. Zira, now fully aware of her new identity, sat quietly, her hands resting in her lap. Her transformation had left her physically and mentally changed, a true blend of Aliran and human traits. She could feel the strength and clarity of her Aliran mind, combined with the emotional depth and physicality of her new human form. It was a strange, disorienting experience, but one that she was beginning to accept. Alex, she finally said, breaking the silence. What do you think will happen when we get back? Alex glanced at her, his expression serious but calm. I don't know. There's a good chance they'll want to study what's happened to you, to understand how it's possible. The Aelirans might see you as a threat or as an anomaly that needs to be corrected. The humans they might see you as proof of some kind of danger. But we can't avoid this. We have to face it head on. Zira nodded, though there was a flicker of uncertainty in her eyes. And us? What do you think will happen to us? 
Alex reached out and took her hand, squeezing it gently. Whatever happens, we'll face it together. We've come this far, and I'm not going to let anything tear us apart. We'll make them understand Zira. We'll show them that what we found is something good, something that can bring our species closer together. Zira smiled, though it was a small, tentative smile. I hope you're right, Alex. I want to believe that there's a future for us, both of us, together. As they approached Horizon Outpost, the station loomed large on the shuttle's view screen, its familiar shape a stark reminder of the world they were returning to. Alex contacted the station, requesting permission to dock, and the response was swift and businesslike. Horizon Outpost, this is Shuttle Gamma 4 requesting docking clearance, Alex said into the comm. Shuttle Gamma 4, you are cleared to dock at Bay 17, came the reply. Prepare for debriefing upon arrival. The tone was neutral, but Alex could sense the tension behind it. They were expected, and it was clear that their sudden disappearance had raised alarm bells. As the shuttle glided into the docking bay and the airlock cycled open, Alex and Zira exchanged one last look before stepping out into the station. The docking bay was quiet, but a small contingent of security personnel and medical staff awaited them, led by Commander Harper. Alex, Zira, Harper greeted them, her tone formal but not unkind. You've been gone for several days and there have been concerns. We need to understand what happened. Alex nodded. We'll explain everything, Commander, but first we need to speak with you privately. What we've discovered, it's something that will affect both humans and Alirans. Harper's eyes flicked to Zira and Alex could see the slight widening of her eyes as she took in Zira's altered appearance. But to her credit, Harper remained composed. Very well, Harper said. We'll discuss this in the briefing room. Follow me. As they made their way to the briefing room, Alex could feel the eyes of the station personnel on them, their gazes filled with curiosity and suspicion. Zira walked beside him, her posture straight and calm though Alex could sense the tension in her every step. In the briefing room, Alex and Zira stood before a panel of senior diplomats and scientists, both human and Eliran. The atmosphere was charged with anticipation as they began to recount their journey, Zira's transformation, the ancient technology on Viridian, and the discovery of the shared ancestry between their species. As Alex spoke, he could see the reactions of those gathered, shock, disbelief, and in some cases, fear. But he pressed on, emphasizing the potential benefits of their discovery, the opportunity to bring their species closer together through understanding and cooperation. When they finished, there was a heavy silence in the room. The implications of what they had revealed were immense, and everyone was struggling to process the information. Finally, it was Elder Korath, the Aliran representative, who spoke first. His voice was calm but laced with concern. If what you say is true, then this discovery has far-reaching consequences for both our species. Zira's transformation is unprecedented. We must consider the potential risks, both to her and to our people. Zetara stepped forward, her voice steady and filled with conviction. Elder Korath, I understand your concerns, but I am not a threat. My transformation is not a disease or an anomaly. It is a bridge between our species, a connection that could lead to greater understanding. I believe that what has happened to me is not something to fear, but something to embrace. Harper nodded in agreement. We need to approach this with caution, but I agree that this could be an opportunity for both humans and Elirans. If we work together, we might uncover new knowledge, new ways of cooperation that could benefit both our species. The discussion that followed was long and intense, with voices raised in both support and opposition. But as the hours passed, it became clear that there was a growing consensus. What had happened could not be ignored or simply erased. It had to be studied, understood, and if possible, harnessed for the betterment of both species. In the end, a decision was made. Zira would remain on Horizon Outpost, under the care and observation of a joint team of human and Aliran scientists. Her transformation would be studied in detail, with the goal of understanding the ancient technology that had triggered it and exploring the potential for future cooperation. As the meeting concluded, Alex and Zira were finally alone in the corridor, 
the weight of the day's events pressing down on them. That went better than I expected, Alex said, trying to sound optimistic. Zira smiled faintly, though her eyes were filled with exhaustion. Yes, but there's still so much we don't know. What will happen to me? Will I continue to change? I don't know, Alex admitted, taking her hand in his. But whatever happens, we'll face it together. We've come this far, and I'm not going anywhere. Zyra leaned into him, her head resting on his shoulder. Thank you, Alex, for everything. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm glad I don't have to face it alone. As they walked together through the quiet corridors of Horizon Outpost, Alex couldn't help but feel a deep sense of relief. They had taken a huge risk, but they had survived. And more than that, they had found a way forward. Weeks turned into months, and life on Horizon Outpost slowly returned to normal, or as normal as it could be, given the extraordinary circumstances. Zara continued to be monitored by the joint team of scientists, who were fascinated by her unique condition. Her transformation had stabilized, leaving her a true hybrid of human and Elyran traits, both physically and mentally. The discovery on Viridian had profound implications for both species. The shared ancestry between humans and Elyrans led to new diplomatic initiatives, with the goal of strengthening the bond between their civilizations. While there were still challenges and resistance from some quarters, the potential for a brighter future was undeniable. As for Alex and Zira, they continued to grow closer, their relationship deepening with each passing day. They became a symbol of the new alliance, proof that love and understanding could bridge even the widest of divides. One evening, as they stood together on the observation deck, looking out at the stars, Alex took Zira's hand and smiled. We've been through a lot, he said softly, but I wouldn't change any of it, not if it meant losing you. Zira squeezed his hand, her eyes shining with warmth. Neither would I, Alex. We found something special, something that goes beyond just us. It's a new beginning for both our species and for us. As they stood there, watching the stars twinkle in the vast expanse of space, they knew that their journey was far from over. But whatever the future held, they would face it together, united in their love, their determination, and their hope for a better tomorrow. And as the stars continued to shine, Alex and Zira knew that their story was only just beginning.